Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our playthrough of The Crew 2. Uh, today I think we should check out Hoovercraft. We have seven races left uh, with Hoovercraft in this game. So our goal for this episode is to complete this discipline. Uh, seven races in one episode is a lot. So that's what I'm not messing about. I'm starting here at the first race and we will get started immediately. Previously we have had some issues uh, or some problems with uh, Hoovercraft. Hoovercraft can be very very tricky especially as you, as you get thrown into like uh, new new tracks which you haven't played before. You don't know the track. And you need to be very efficient like with how, how you take corners and stuff in, in Hoovercraft. It's, it's a bit tricky. So I expect us to maybe have a bit of a struggle again. Uh, hopefully not as much as with the airplane, but I think it, it, it's fair to expect some. some uh, we might have to replay several of these races. So we'll see if we manage to do all this. It is the goal to do all this in one episode, but we'll see if it will be possible or not. Uh, but here we go. Let's try to be efficient. We need to like cut the corners as sharp as possible. If you like bounce out or like me here, take the corners a bit wide then you will lose a lot of time by doing that. I have come to learn, I've tried to actually grind this vehicle a little bit and try to figure out how to drive efficiently uh, to get a fair chance to complete this episode. Uh, and my conclusion be has behind, been that... But you can still float to the top. Or what I've found is that... Yeah, this is that you need to take the corners really wide. I'm totally messing up here. And it's, um, yeah, I need to maybe like get into this because it's a special driving style. A car you can just jump into and drive decently, but Hoovercraft is different. Yeah, so what, what I've, I've come to learn is, what I found out is that you need to cut the corners, take them tight. That will save you a lot of time. You need to like uh, be able to steer a bit proactively. We already knew that. But you can also use the boost wisely to use the boost to push you tightly through corners like here i will sort of look into the corner try not to hit the inner keep use the boost to keep me on track so if the corner doesn't become too wide it will push me through the corner it will help me with the direction and also in the air you lose a lot of speed so jumps are bad you might need to compensate for that loss of speed by applying some boost in the air. So yeah, that's that's mostly it. Uh, if you get small jumps, just check the speedometer. It should should try and stay around at least 120 kilometers plus. Uh, use the boost to push you through the corner, so you can take take them tightly, steer proactively. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know. You see here, we're easily having a good speed here, 150, but as we, on land we lose some, and if we jump, we will go all the way down to like 90, so that's a big speed loss in jump in jumps. Also in corners, you might lose some speed, and okay, this is super, super bad. That's exactly what you don't want. Here you see, now that we have started to focus, Using these techniques, we are pulling away. So yeah, need some warm up, need some catching up on these techniques because it's way different than car driving, for example. Eighty-eight percent would be super nice to make this in the first attempt. This is one of the absolute easiest races we will have it. I think it's had performance level 50 only and I think there are like performance level 70 or so for some of the races so yeah let's try and pick up the loot we might get hit here often they come to just and hit you in the rear when you stand here uh, in the goal of course so that might push us away from the loot but we want to take the loot because we don't want to spend time on going to uh, our mailbox.
So smack on the performance part, we will need all the performance parts we can get as I suspect we will, if we want to complete all the races, we will do the trickier races in this episode. And even though our performance level is only like 16 from being maxed out, uh, you saw there that we have 64 and we struggled in a performance 50 race. So yeah. We will need all the performance levels we can get. I was just about to say, we just cleared that location, that we have six races left, but only two, two locations, so several of these races are in the same location. This is recommended level 30, that's good, since we just completed a 50, I think. Uh, almost becoming unsure now. But I think it was 50. So then we should be able to do this. But you never know, it all depends on how the track is, if we ma manage to stay on the track and stuff like that. Always tricky when you get thrown into a, a track you never played in Hoovercraft, actually. So yeah, but one down, six to go. Let's see if we can get the lead immediately here, so no, we don't have to like bump into them as we try to take corners, because that may also cause us to lose a lot of speed uh, if we like get bounced far out of corners and stuff like that. Then not being able to accelerate because they are in our way and stuff, yeah. So it was always good to stay away from the crowd if possible. Gotta watch the minimap to be sure where to go since you need to be a little bit proactive here. Compensating, trying to compensate a bit for all the speed we lose in the air, several jumps there. We should have decent speed here on the water. Then we will lose some here. Okay, these are actually recognized. This seems a bit like... This part at least is part of the, the track which I used to grind to get the performance level up a little, little bit. But now this part we're entering here is, is new, so to speak. But this seems like a lap though, so okay, we're on the second lap already, so 30%, I guess it will be three laps then, approximately. Seven seconds lead, that's totally fine by me. I would totally welcome if this would go better than expected. I don't have to replay and get stuck on stuff like in the airplanes, it would be so, so nice. To progress a bit more smoothly than what we did with the airplane's discipline because the last of those were yeah they were really testing us and testing our resolve and our ability to stay positive so, okay so this part is part of the same map which I used to grind so I know this somewhat this checkpoint was the finish in that particular race. It's good that you can like, you can use some of these uh, boost, but you gain boost as you drive as well. So you see our, our nitro meter, uh, nitrometer, <laughs> what we should call it. It's full, even though we're using it like a little, a little, a little, almost all around the track, it's still full. So, it's a decent technique, I think. Oh, this was what I was about to do the, f the first lap. I was about to go in the wrong direction, but then I watched the minimap. And I did that for the second lap as well, just to make sure I was going in the right direction. But now I forgot and just went where I thought I should go if I should not have watched the minimap or driven the map before. And almost went in the wrong direction. So yeah. A tricky part there, at least for me, because I always feel like I should go another way than I'm actually supposed to at that point. Alright, but never mind. 94%, those are far behind if you look at the minimap now. They are way behind, so we should just sail into the finish up here. Well, we can just spend all the juice, all the nitro. There it is. 
perhaps try to park ourselves a bit on the side here if we can so we can see where the loot drops and hopefully not get hit by them whoa it just won't stop spinning i'm steering wow okay i am maximum left now with this failed control issues i guess i'm not pushing the that was very interesting because usually when that happens i say that i'm pushing the the arrow key or something now it's done uh, but in this case, I, was, I wasn't. I was just holding the steering wheel, trying to get it to stop spinning. It was spinning right, so I tried to, uh, you know, move the steering wheel left, a little left, a little left, and eventually I steered maximum left, and it just kept spinning right. Why? That's very weird. So that sort of makes me wonder with the control issues that we have mentioned earlier, like in airplanes where it does sudden 90 degrees turns and sudden 180s. And I've been saying like, hmm, if it was a bug, shouldn't it already be resolved? Maybe it's me or something. But in that case, I mean, my hands were off the control and it just kept spinning right. The only control I did was to move the steering wheel left. Do you have any idea how hard it is keeping your hovercraft tuned up with all the crashing and ramming you do out there? You drivers treat these things like they're oversized bumper cars. Bumper cars. I love bumper cars. They're the only place I go where I'm not the worst driver around. All right, so third race coming up, and this is performance level 50 race. So a bit harder than the last one, but I think the same performance level as the first one we did. The start seemed to be at the same place as the race I grinded, as I mentioned in the last race. Let's try and get the head position here immediately. I need to watch the minimap to know where I'm going because this will be different, of course. 180 coming up, try not to hit the pier. Boost through, keep it Did tight. Did I ever tell you about the time I met an amazing girl on the bumper cars? It's a great story. I kept ramming into her totally by accident, because you know, me behind the wheel? Yeesh. Okay, we're left off to this one. We'll get decent speed on the water, can save up some nitro. Yeah, 145. We lose here in the air. The thing was, she didn't know I was bumping her by accident, and she was getting annoyed. So she bumped me back really hard. The twisty road here, doing fine though. Need to keep this corner tight. This nitro technique makes a lot of difference. I remember in the first races we did in Hoovercraft, we had a lot of issues with like, we steered and we thought that we steered, I mean, 90 degrees or made a 180 and we all, but we felt that like, it, it didn't move in the right direction, it just continued going straight forward, even if we turned the Hoovercraft almost backwards, if you know what I mean, it went backwards but still went forward, does that make sense? Uh, yeah. I think you know what I mean, even if what I'm saying sort of makes no sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, if we would have boosted, that would have sorted that, that would help us to push us around. So this, this boosting, the boosting in the corner makes all the difference, actually. Like this uh, windy part that comes up here with a lot of turns, that would be super tricky without boosting because it, it would slide and take so much wide turns, even if you like turn the hoovercraft. So you almost have to do this, is my opinion. And up here, it will just go straight forward. It would be very hard to take this turn nicely without using the nitro technique. I know I'm using like both, sometimes I'm saying boost, sometimes I'm saying nitro. I'm trying to use the correct term. I mean, the game says nitro. So I'm trying to say that, but I'll just boost, just Sort of comes naturally, so yeah, I use I'm using both. I'm saying both nitro and boost for the same thing, but I think you know what I mean anyway. So 11 seconds ahead on a performance of a 50 race. That's way better than expected. He's great. He's great. Third race, doing it 83%, 12 
almost 13 seconds ahead. Super nice. Ninety two percent. Yeah, the, the turny part. Can you say that? Turny, like lots of turns. <laughs> Maybe that's not even a word. But finish is a word, and here it is. Nice. While grinding, so and the I? finish is oh, here. So we just kept going at each other, and after the ride, well, one thing led to another, and our parents took us for ice cream. Did I mention we were eight? Hey, did you win? Congrats! I was distracted. Yeah. All right. Sweet as pie. All right. So have we returned to free drive? Did I miss it? Maybe let's cash in on the icon level one, 131. All right. So we actually have some icon loot to pick up as well. So let's make on the performance pass real quick. Uh, what car should we have? We do have uh, hypercars coming up, so let's select a hypercar, just any hypercar, where are there? them there, just select that one, and then we should pick up the icon loot and get it for hypercars. Okay, so I went to icon points, no problem though, let's just smack these out. Uh, drift. All right, so we're actually adding to drift. Maybe that is not needed since we have the drift discipline is actually increasing scoring, point based skill, air race. Ah, that would have been good when we did the air race and struggle with like just a couple of degrees wrong with the wings. But yeah, do you, and on the other hand, would we really spend points way ahead of doing that? Uh, nah, and now it's done. So it's all good. But I was thinking increasing, ah, the, the scoring is just increased by 0.2%. Um, I'm just going to smack it out. Uh, I was thinking about Destruction Derby. That's a point-based skill, but yeah, whatever, actually. Uh, Avoid tolerance, okay, that's good. Collision impact force. Maybe we should start build by this for, for the upcoming um, destruction derby. Uh, and then we missed out on slipstream. And okay, that maybe that was stupid. Let's not get stuck on this. Uh, these ones we need at least, all right. So yeah, maybe we would have better tried to build on, but we have a decent amount of points there. So whatever, whatever. I think we make it anyway. We are on uh, normal level races after all. Epic part for hypercar. Good, all good. All right, so let's move on. We have done three races. We still have four to go and it's a lot to squeeze into one episode. So let's continue to build. All right, we cleared two positions. So all of the remaining races will be here. So recommended level 20. That sounds very nice. Let's clear that. Is not permitted. Credit where it's due, Wade had a good idea. The Hovercraft event series out in the bayou. I even like his name, Gator Rush. For me, it's the best way to experience the wetlands up close. It's hovercrafting at its purest. I heard he got the craft from some freestyle bigwig, Sophia. Know her? She'll be our special guest. But I'm still the one to beat. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Can we take a shortcut here? Or will it give us some issues? Maybe we will get stuck in the trees. Maybe go like this instead. Oh, oh, I can't boost. Okay. Suddenly I could. I hit the boost like five times, nothing happens, and the sixth time it's actually boosted. Okay, let's see if we can use the same meta as before. Try and get the lead first and not get stuck in traffic. Gotta watch the minimap a bit now. Yeah, okay, this reminds me of like one of the first races we had in Hoovercraft, where we had a lot of issues with like it's pretty turning. remote out here, isn't it? I had trouble finding the place. Remote's how we like it. Thanks for lending us your hovercraft. Thanks for letting me gator rush. Hope you don't mind if I crush you. I don't mind losing if you don't. Get real. You're both gonna lose to my friend out there. 
Maybe this is actually... I recognize this race when I said in the last race... Wow, a lot of inertia on these things. Feels like driving a crab. It feels like adrenaline. And that's what I'm here for. Yeah, like when I mentioned that we we drove a race, we had some issues with turning. We felt we could swing the hovercraft around like almost 180, but couldn't. It still went like in one direction, just went forward. Uh, it actually feels like this race. Did we have to give up on that? Because this was undone and I recognized this map. This is that race which I was talking about. I didn't remember that we gave up on that race. And I said that what if we would have known about this nitro trick then that would have helped us immensely. And here we are now with this experience and with this I like this all information. In one and we're My just pickup doesn't handle this well in swamps. Blasting through. I won't mention though that when we did this race we maybe had one or two when we did this race the first time, we had maybe done one or two Hoovercraft races before. So we had another Hoovercraft vehicle. We had a lot lower performance level. No, this is all us <laughs> driving better. Uh, maybe it's a combination, right? Of those two. Sixty-seven percent. Fifteen seconds ahead. All good. Yeah, it's like what I said earlier in the series. All of these disciplines have sort of learning curve. It has some tricks to them. And you need to figure them out. And we are figuring them out as we go. So it feels like we have finally figured out Quite a lot for Hoovercraft, at least. So this is going way better now than before. Like the view? In off-road, we leave the beaten path to find the beauty of nature. In freestyle, we leave the beaten path to find the fun. That's why we like to share our toys. Oh, please. Get a room, you two. And finish. Woo! Nice. You folk are a blast. Thanks. You race like you mean it. And you race like you need it. Let's see if we can not spin around all the time now. There it is. How wonderful is this? Four races in a row. No issues so far. I know this was just a level 20 race, but still the feeling compared to the previous airplane struggles is just so relieving. Uh, we have some hobbies rewards. Let's pick it. Collector. Will it be an emote? Yes, a new emote. Who's the real king? Mm. Who will ever use that? But oh well. So let's move on. What performance level do we have? 50, 20 is done. 50? Uh -huh. Okay, so it says... Only three events left. Is there one behind the filter? No. Okay, so that's 20, 50, and 50. Okay, okay. So let's do the 20 first then. So all the remaining races are here. You know the best part of getting in early on an event series like Gator Rush? It's all new. Nobody knows exactly what the feel of it is yet. So we figure it out together trailblazing a path into the unknown. All right, so be quite a lot of racing in the Bayou uh, today. And hopefully we will end, uh, like complete the episode. I can't, I can't boost. Boosting, 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 boosting. No, it boosts. All right. Maybe it's like boost is blocked until two seconds ahead of the race start. I don't know. Very weird. At least it works now when we're racing. It's not Let's a cheap shot to ram you if you're driving an airbag. Just saying. Let's check the minimap. Be careful of where we're going. We're never driven this race. And I was just thinking. I had dog 
<laughs> I hardly dare say it because I don't want to jinx it, but... Oh, I can't boost! I can't boost! Crap, that messed us up. Better reset. Totally lost the flow. Suddenly the boost button did actually not work. And now it doesn't work again. And we are so dependent on this. Yeah, just thinking about saying this uh, started gave us trouble. I was going to say that we've done so well. We have done all the races, four races in a row out of seven, I think, with no issues. If this continues for the rest of the episode, we will actually have a very productive episode and we'll be able to squeeze in all seven races in one episode. Wouldn't that be great? But just thinking about saying that, suddenly the nitro button stopped working and we went from first to last. Now it works again though. Uh, and we are yet again back in first position. We need it so much here. See? That's how you're supposed to do it. But if the nitro does not work... Jeez, then you're in trouble. That's what happened last lap. My whole driving technique builds on... I'm not gonna try to squeeze through. The other one skipped the jump, which will save you speed. But I'm not gonna, you know, place myself in that position. I think if the controls just work, then we it will be good enough for us. We will win just repeating the lap I just did. So that's the plan. This is the last lap. Just continue the way we did the, la the second lap. Another lap like that, and it's in the bag. Try to steer proactively here, push us through. And now I'm not going to go left here, I know we have to go right, push us through. 180 coming up, push us through. Don't bother about going to the right of the jump, just sort of avoid any issues, don't take unnecessary risks. 10 seconds ahead, do we find 95%, is it the last turn? It is the last turn, there's the finish, push us through, and it's done. Nice. And now I can't boost again, but maybe that's, you know, maybe it's lot blocked out, out outside of the race. That's totally okay though, because all that matters is winning and we won. So, doink. Totally fine. Weird with the control issues, really weird. Like that spin we got, we couldn't stop spinning, although we hit no controls that said spin to the game. Uh, and then suddenly the nitro or boost button stops working with no real reason Just suddenly and then suddenly starts working again, which was good because otherwise we would have definitely lost the race So we needed that to work. Okay, let's see 2020 Are those both remaining ones 50? Yeah, all right So now the thing I'm most nervous about, I mean, all the races have gone good, no matter the recommended performance level. The only issue we've had, the only risk of losing a race has been due to control issues, like the nitro button stops working. We so need that, especially now in the level 50 races. So that's my biggest like fear right now. Not the race itself. Uh, I'm of course a bit like uh, we need we need to if we don't want a super long uh, episode it would be great if we could just make them all in first attempt but yeah nitro button need that to work all the way great thing about racing hovercraft is you don't need roads don't even need land managed to get the lead there through the first tight turn real, real good start for us so we don't have to like get stuck in traffic or bump around the other uh, competitors here or the other racers. Let's try to keep an eye on the minimap, get a feel for the first lap here, try to avoid mistakes. Sharp right coming up. And the left, alright this is a bit tricky. Watch the minimap, stay in control of the vehicle. 
Do we find nitro is still full even though we're using it all the time? Push ourselves through, use more nitro there to stay on track. Don't hit, there's a, like a, a extremely small pillar which you just need to avoid hitting, which we did not. Still the lead though, so totally fine. 150 kilometers almost per hour. Some turns coming up here. Just try and take them like smoothly. Okay, so that's the first lap. 35%, so almost three laps to expect. You gotta stay focused on this one because it's uh, a lot of turns here. A lot of things can actually go wrong. So. Four seconds lead, that's good. You never know when you may need that. Swing the hovercraft around, stay away from that tree, swing it back, push yourself through, swing, swing, swing. Oh. <laughs> swing, swing, swing. I was like, steer, 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 steer. I didn't steer enough left there to push me through the corner. Uh, but we were lucky we did not get stuck on the tree. We got through anyway. Okay, let's try and avoid this stupid... Okay, but then we hit that tree instead, so okay. Hit the pole or hit the tree. Pick your choice. Next time, maybe we should try and go on the right side. Because going to the left side of that pole puts us really close to the tree, so it becomes some real tight turning which you have to do. And I was not able to adjust fast enough. That's what caused us to hit the tree as you may have noticed already but so next time we will actually try to go on the right side of the pole that will give us a better angle and we will stay clear of the we will have good like distance to the trees with it should stay clear of that as well all right seven seconds lead we have a good gap here considering it's the last lap as well so i wouldn't say that we almost can afford a mistake i don't feel that comfortable but it is a good lead that corner was the best, the best uh, so far in this race. I mean, how we took that specific corner. Okay, so is it coming up here, the bridge? Yes, it is. Or oh, the pillar. Try to avoid it. That's that's way better. It gave us a straight line through the turns. Nowhere near the tree. That's. How you should do it, I think. So, if I'm not mistaken, finish should be coming up real quick. And here it is. Nice. Super great. Okay, and we can't boost. That we have come to learn is to expect. It's normal. And there's the loot. All green loot. Totally fine. Returning to free drive. Actually losing count, was that the 6th race? Is it the last race coming up? Smack on the performance parts. We are now at performance level as we enter what I think is the last race. Performance level 67. Alright. I don't think I have done any pro tuning at all to this vehicle. Uh, Gator Rush main event. Oh, that randomly ended up as the last Hoovercraft event uh, for our playthrough of The Crew 2. And that seems super correct, right? I uh, wonder if we we'll see some narrative here. Seems like it. It's sad. The Gator Rush was Wade's idea. But now he won't even come around to see what it's become. Makes me feel for him. Not so much I want to invite him, but I feel it. All right. So, all right. No, like, zoning in, no um, narrative intro, which I was thinking it could be. But it's totally fine. It's a level 50, so we need to stay focused. Three, two, one. one. And go! Let's hope the nitro button works all the way through. Oh, too much turn there, using the boost to sort of compensate to stay on track. Lost the lead, but got it back real quick. This turn we'll recognize from the last race. But maybe here it becomes 
does it become different here, maybe? Gotta watch the minimap to see what's coming up. Ooh, sharp turn coming up. Oh, I didn't know when to turn, so I, I didn't want to start turning too soon. Okay, just go straight. This is super great. And now left. Yeah, I didn't know how soon I could take that turn back there. So I ended up turning too late. But it worked all fine with the help of the Nitro technique. Just push the switch. Oh, swing around and Nitro! <laughs> okay, this is very unstable now. I need to get back to some control. You can't really like go that much back and forth like turning in the that too much angles on the turns. It becomes very hard to control and unstable. I need to be more smooth than what I was back there. More smooth, more in control. Sort of like this. This is how you want to go if you can. Fifty-one percent. Half the final race is done. Okay, so now steer early. Boost, 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 boost. Can we go through here again? It would be super great. No jumps, so we save a lot of time there. Four seconds ahead only. So I think we're driving quite decently, we're boosting us through the corner and stuff like that, but we are only 4 seconds ahead, so it seems like the number 2 has pulled away from the rest of the pack back there. So he's chasing us. 71%, this is likely to be the last lap, I guess. So yeah, yeah, the number two has pulled away from the pack quite good. So if you see that the goal here is to reach top three because it's a normal level race and the number two is six seconds, okay, almost eight seconds behind and behind him there might be another like four or five second gap. Um, yeah, then we are in a really good position before we end up in position 4, which is the first position which could cause us to actually lose this. 95%, I don't think we have to be nervous at all. There's the finish, just a straight line and a lot of nitro. So there it is. The final Hoovercraft race. This went so much better than I could ever dream of or expect. Uh, just lovely so pleased with this uh, this episode and how these last races went just super nice and what a change from the struggle with the airplanes that we have had uh, in the last couple of episodes so just go going back to progressing nicely enjoying the game again uh, even in a discipline where we have like been a bit hesitant to um, its performance and uh, you know get, understanding the handling and everything we finally figured it out and completed it so now we since the airplane struggles we have hello gator um, completed uh, a live extreme race and just to check all the hoovercraft races yes the filter is reset Hoovercraft races in the dis in the crew 2 are completed. Remaining is Demolition Derby. Ooh, we'll see how that goes. Hypercar and Streetways, I think, will all be fun. And we will see Hypercar are mostly long races, so we'll see if that will be one or two episodes. But that's what's coming up in the future for this Let's uh, Play series. Uh, I will round this up now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this as much as I did. Uh, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment if you want. If you want to stay tuned for new content, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell button. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Bye bye.